All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, and peace and blessings to the Akim that's out there laboring, that's out there hopeful elect, that's doing his work in truth and sincerity. You know, and um, brothers have been putting up videos about um, this whole thing that's been going down in Texas. You know, and um, there's different reports coming out on on what's really going on, and and uh, you know. Uh, then you have the um, these different uh, uh, news uh, networks that are basically uh, making this whole thing uh, a political thing, you know. But um, here's a quick article right here from um, Yahoo News, and it says um, parts of Texas not on its ERCOT power grid appears to have weathered appears to have weathered the freeze with few outages. Now. Um, there's really speaking upon this whole thing about the power grid that's set up in Texas is not uh, federal, federally uh, regulated. OK, um, they're going on their own type of uh, uh, system that's set up and the, the cold weather, basically um, uh, what they're saying is basically what what uh, caused a lot of these uh, uh, power outages. But we're going to go ahead and read this article, man. I want to hit some scriptures because um, there's, there's really. Uh, uh, one ultimate uh, uh, cause of this whole thing at the end of the day, and that's how about Shema was shy. But um, it says, Texas is nearing the end of what Governor Greg Abbott called once in every 120 year cold front. But that doesn't entirely explain why more than a million households still have no electricity early Thursday after three full days of below freezing temps, temperatures, plenty of places. In the world keep their power on in prolonged Arctic weather, and so did parts of Texas. Those um, edges of Texas include El Paso, are primary in areas outside of those supported ERCOT grids, which is our Electrical Reliability Council of Texas, which manages the electric grid for 90% of the state and operates separately from federal oversight and regulation okay so basically um you know there's uh parts of texas that's that's basically most of texas is not really under the federal reg regulated uh, uh uh power uh um net network setup all right so a lot of them these places that were that are not regulated basically succumb to the weather and had these these outages so they're basically saying in this article that there's places that were federally regulated, okay, that actually withstood the uh, the uh, the cold weather, okay, and um, you know there's people out there with no power and no water, and you know when you are uh, uh, there with these different places, you know electricity is very essential to a lot of which operates in your house, you know, um, you know when you uh, when you have uh, 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 no electricity, you know you can't heat the home. So when you can't heat the home, the, the pipes would freeze. So with the pipes would freeze, you basically would have no water. So, you know, the electricity is basically essential for a lot of things that, that go on in, in, the, in the, you know, the average household, you know. But um, we know that through the spirit, man, this is all of the Lord, man. You know, whether or not if uh, uh, E basically used his, his little uh, uh, heart program to uh, cause these things to happen. And it, it's a possibility that it could. But at the end of the day. You know, regardless of what we could point the finger, I mean, you got the news networks that are basically pointing the finger, you know, ones that are leaning towards the left, ones that are leaning towards the right, that are pointing their fingers at each other. But we all, we, we have to know that we are in the, uh, in the stage of info wars right now, man. You know? All right? So, really, but the only knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that's going to withstand all of this deceit and, 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 and who, who gained from this and who, uh, you know, who lost out from this, you know, the only thing that's going to withstand this whole thing is, is the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know? But um, let me pull a scripture real quick. This is um Isaiah uh, 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. So we know at the end of the day, the Lord is the one that, that uh, uh, gets this thing popping, man. You know? Uh, you know, he uses man, okay, to carry out his will. OK, you know, and, and, and we're, we're going to we're going to get the scriptures that that really uh, uh, back that up. But we already understand this through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that these things are going to happen upon the earth, man. You know. All right. And it says, drop down ye heavens from above and let the skies pour down righteousness. 
Let the earth open and let them bring forth salvation. Let righteousness spring up together. I get how I have created it. You know, when it's coming to a point in time to where this place, man, this whole shit show of a place is, has got to go, man. You know, and uh, the ushering out, okay, of this society is via destruction, man. And we're, we're on the cusp of, of seeing it, man, on a grand scale, man. You know, but um, it's time for righteousness to reign in the earth, man. You know, but um, before we get to that point, we, we have to understand there's a, a transition of power that has to go on, man. You know, and uh, the, you know, the saying goes that Rome wasn't built in a day. Well, neither would, would the, 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 the tearing down of it either. You know, OK, we ultimately ultimately know that, uh, you know, through the scriptures that uh, it's going to take one hour to destroy this place, man, via the, the nuclear missiles, man. That's ordained through the heavenly father. We understand that. But as far as the breaking down of society and, and having the Lord go have the people go through these these famines and, and, and different things like that, man, you know, it, 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 it's basically a, a, a this is scorches from the Lord, man. You know, you know, that that's so called that, that that slow kill, so to speak, man, you know. So it says, woe to him that striveth with his maker. Let the pot shed strive with the pot shirts of the earth, you know, and. He is, is basically striving against his maker, man. You know, we, he basically is trying to defy uh, 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 of, of the things that are, have been well ordered from Yahweh by Shem Abishai. You know, things that have been set in perfectly perfect order concerning uh, uh, the way how the earth uh, 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 works, man. You know, how the things are created in the earth, man. He tries to defy the, the, the heavenly father, man, and basically uh, uh, try to create his own new improved type of way how the earth should be ran man you know after this this damn devil had, had run this place down okay he's trying to uh uh so-called uh uh turn you know right the way that 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 how it should go okay after from after destroying it man you know okay when well, we know that this man has to be taken out the way man you know and we know that this this place is not going to be uh uh purified man but 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 by fire man OK, which is a, a purification agent. All right. So we also ultimately know that's the cherry on top, man, for this place, man. You know, and it says, shall the clay say to him that fashioned it, what makest thou or thy work? He he had no hands, you know. So, you know, it's basically, you know, the the, the, the clay boasting against the, 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 the potter, man, that actually makes the uh, makes this uh, fashions it to his will. So we know the Lord fashions the man to his will, man. You know, which brings me to another scripture real quick. Um, let's go to um, Proverbs chapter 16. Uh, start the fourth verse. And it says, Yahweh had made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. You know, and we coming upon the day, times of evil right now, man. You know, and the Lord has created the wicked, man, for, for such uh, uh, to go the course of his will, man. You know. And basically, this is the reason why we're seeing these 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 perils coming up on the earth, you know. And it was a, a article that a brother uh, had had put up, you know, concerning these different things, and you know, it, it's basically dawning on these people uh, that you're having, you know, you're having different, uh, 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 you know, there's too many things. Basically, she was saying that are going on uh, uh, simultaneously, so to speak. You know, these things are going on one on top of the other, you know, whatever issues, you know, this place is really, uh, 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 you know, going through, you know, and you know what the issues are going through is, is, is this whole thing with the, with the crown Royal and, and how it's destroying the economy. And, uh, you know, then you have these other perils that are coming, coming to this place, man, you know, but it says, man, that everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the most high and have joy and, and though joy hand in hand, he shall not be unpunished. So, you know, you got our people that are, that are still smitten by this damn devil and, and, and will believe every word that he says and it basically will just be deceived through the media and, and what have you. You know, hey, and do, do join in hand in hand. The wicked shall, shall not go unpunished, man. You know, so you got our people that are still walking in great pride, man. You know, they, they, here it is. This place is, 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 is uh, deteriorating all, all around them, man. And they have not a clue of what, what is going on, man. Okay? They don't even know that this is all prescribed from, from, from the Lord, man. You know, at the end of the day, man. You know? So it says, verse 6, 
by mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the most high, men depart from evil, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, mercy and truth, man. All right. Mercy from the Lord. And, and really, and that, that mercy, truth is about to spring forth, man. You know, OK, but iniquity is going to be purged through that, man. You know, you see. Right. And fear of the Lord, you know, men depart from evil, man. That's really a, a, just a, a, something that, a, to take heed from the men of the Lord, you know, to take heed through, man. To seeing that these things coming upon the earth and to actually consider, man. This is the doings of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai at the end of the day, man. You know? All right. Um, but but uh, you know, men de basically depart from evil, man. Okay, and that's really really talking about the potential elect, man, at the end of the day, man. You know, that depart from evil. Okay? All right. <clears throat> next, next, next uh script. I'm gonna pull, let's see, let's go to uh you know, because like I said, because there's a lot of, you know, but people want to want to want to count as uh, uh, inf information and, and, and disinformation, you know, and um, we are we also know that, hey, man, you know, we know that the Lord is, is controlling all of these things, man. You know, this is Amos chapter three, verse six, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city? And Yahweh have not done it, you know, and, uh, you know, we, we hear, you know, reports from brothers and, and, and different uh, uh, news outlets of what's going on. And, and, you know, this information that's being withheld and, and, you know, brothers is giving us the real on what's really going on, you know, and you got a lot of people that really suffered from this thing, man. You know, and, you know, when you're dealing with a state like Texas, especially when the when the weather hit as far south as, as uh, Houston, you know, they're not really used to that type of weather, man, you know. And then when that type of weather does hit them, man, you know, they don't know how to handle it, man. They, they, uh, they're basically the, uh, so what they're saying in the report is that the infrastructure, they, they, uh, the power infrastructure was not able to withstand that. But, you know, there's something else that's going on behind that, though. But we're not supposed to get caught up in things like that, man. We also know that this whole thing of, of people dying and stuff like that, man, we know that's all from the Lord at the end of, end of the day, man, you know. You know, our whole thing is not to waste energy on getting caught up in 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 in, in why and how and and, and and all that. Though we all, we are we have to know that the Lord is is is, is uh, you know having His will in the earth, man. You know whether or not He's using man, and we you know He is using man at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But we're not supposed to get not to get caught up in the, the, the technicalities of of how this devil is really moving, man. We just expose him for what it is on a uh, on a grand scale at the end of the day, man. You know, and not get caught up in the little tidbits and, and, and things like that, man. You know, we also know that this man has the power to control the weather, man, at the end of the day, man. Point blank, period, man. Not to even read too much more further into that. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it, it is what it is, man. You know, OK, but it says, <clears throat> right. But but, but shall not a, not a man be afraid? You know, shall Trump, Trump be blown in the city? You know, OK, Th these warning signs, man. You know, the Lord's, Lord is the one that's bringing these perils upon the earth, man. You know, but it says, right, verse 7, Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto the servants, the prophets, man. And what's the secrets, man? The knowledge of this wisdom and understanding of these scriptures, man. And we we understand through the scriptures, though, we understand that the Lord is is uh, is uh, 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 making inquisition of this place, man, at the, at the end of the day, man. Okay? First and foremost, man, you know. So we understand that these, you know, we can, and then we can go into the scriptures and really, you know, dive in and, and really get into, you know, the Lord's will, man, or what his will is. You know, these people don't have a clue. It's because they don't have that, that type of foundation, man. The spirit is not on them to even, uh, 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 to even uh, be programmed or wired, right, to even think that way, man. You know? Okay. All right. Next, next scripture I want to get. Um, let's go to the Apocrypha. Let's go to Sirach. Um, 39 and um, the point is a uh, point I'm gonna read down though, but I'm gonna start at 28. Um, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So, all these spirits, man, whatever who's controlling what and, and who's doing this and, and that and who's benefiting from what happened and, and the people behind it and the workers of iniquity. Listen, man, we all know that these people, the Lord created these spirits, man, at the end of the day, man. Okay? We know that Yahweh Bashim, 
Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he created these spirits at the end of the day, man. Okay? Right? Verse 29, fire and hail and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. So we have to remember and keep that in mind, man. Everything that was going on in Texas and, and from here on out, man. Okay, we have to keep that in mind that all of this is the, is for vengeance of of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, whether it's on our people, the two thirds, or whether it's on these other nations, man. Okay, you know, it, it's all well ordered, man. From Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, at the end of the day, man. You know, and we have a lot of this, this these things going on, man. You had death, okay. You got famine, all right. You you, you seen brother uh, post up the price of of water, you know. And it's going to come a point in time to where it's like you're going in the store and it's like, okay, you're charging uh, an exuberant amount of money for water. Uh, that's not going to ride, man. Okay? That's not going to ride at the end of the day, man. You know? Well, uh, price gouging and, 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 but these things go on in, 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 in this, 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 this place, man. That's how, that's how disgusting this place is, man. For, for you to, to be in a situation to where, you know, people are, 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 are needing a certain, uh, uh, you know, necessity, which, which is water. And you have the audacity to to to, to price gouge the price gouge it, man. You see, okay. But uh, you know, hey, man, it's gonna be a big pushback on these things, man. But oh, this is all the the, the Lord, man, and it's gonna it's gonna be a uh, a uh, uh, class war, and and you're gonna see these things going on, man. Okay, all right, it's gonna be the, the war between the have and have nots. It's gonna be every man against his brother, man. Okay, in this place, man. You know, but the the, the Lord is setting the stage up, man. All right. And he's putting people to death in the process of all this, man. You know, right. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction, man. You know, and we're going to start to see a lot of these plagues that are coming upon him, man. You know, the Lord's bringing back those those old ancient plagues, man, from um, from Egypt, man, that are coming to this place, man. Which this place is spiritually uh, 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 Egypt, you know. Right. And it says, verse 31, they shall rejoice in his commandment. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. Okay, so all of these spirits and and and, and these these are uh, uh, these are uh, 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 so-called scorpions and and and, and uh, 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 you know animal, ma mammals and 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 the like, they're ready for the Lord's commandment, man, to 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 do their to do the destruction, man. Okay, so I'm gonna read it again. It says, "They shall rejoice in His commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth." When need is. So when need be, they're going to be on point, man. They're going to be ready to do the, the, the will of the Lord, man. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So everything that's written within this book, man, is going to come to pass, man. As far as the spirits created for vengeance, man. Okay? You see? So whether or not somebody who's controlling it and, and things like that, we all, all know that this is all uh, um, the Lord's will at the end of the day, man. You know? So it says... Therefore, from the beginning, I was resolved and though upon these and thought upon these things and have left them in writing. All the works of the Lord are good and he will give every needful thing in due season. So all we have to do and where the where the sea is, where the watch is, we just watch and wait, man. And we hey, when we do the spirit and power of Yahweh about Shem Shai, you know, we, we, we bring it out, man, you know. OK, so all of these things that are going on in the earth, man, uh, uh, um, and then things that we see that are, that are that are forthcoming is all going to be done in due season of the Lord, man. You know, right. So it says, verse 34, so that a man cannot say this is worse than that. You know, you have people talking about, oh, well, 2020, 21 and 2000, this is worse than 2020. And and look, look, man, you know, it, it, it's all downhill, man. OK. That was just opening. That was just the opening, uh, uh, the opening credits, so to speak, of, of the destruction, man, from the Lord, man, 2020, man. Okay, so now we we now we getting into the meat and the heart of these things, and it's only gonna go downhill from here, man. You know. So it says again, so that a man cannot say this is worse than that, for in time they shall all be well approved. You know, it's all gonna be well approved of, of Yahweh Bashim was shot, man. You know, the, the intimate destruction that's, that's coming upon this place, man. And it's all for the, 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 the appeasement of the Lord, man, at the end of the day, man. So, you know, we don't get caught up in the technicalities of of of, of what and why and, and, and why this happened. And, 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 you know, because that all takes away from the, 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 the whole heart of the matter that the Lord is doing his will in the earth, man. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. 
Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and blessings to the Akim that's out there laboring, that's what the hopeful elect, that's doing his work in truth and sincerity. Shalom.